Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my CV. The CV that helped me to land a job in IBM with a six-figure salary. So after reviewing my uh, CV, then uh, I will share some of the tips that you should definitely follow whenever you are updating your CV or you are a fresh graduate or planning to create a new CV. So these tips will definitely help you to stand out. Also, one more uh, thing I want to talk about that is I'm planning to launch a new program where I will review your CVs. So how it's going to work? Well, I'll uh, share with you guys my email address and all you need to do is to send your CVs to my email address and I'll review your CV and give you a feedback. The reason to launch this program is that uh, I really feel like uh, we are a family and we should help each other to become a better version of themselves. So that's the whole plan. So uh, before starting the video, I just wanted to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I also hold CI, SSP, and CCSP certification, which are the industry standard of cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT career tips. So if you're interested in this topic, this channel is definitely for you. I'm gonna upload a tons of videos to this topic. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos so without further delay let's dive in so this is the cv that uh, helped me to get a six-year job in ibm uh, so i'm in canada in canada us in north america we follow a certain type of format so this is uh, one of uh, the uh, formats so at the very first, I added my important information like name, address, phone number. And one important thing to uh, notice in here, we must have to add our LinkedIn profile link in here. Cause whenever a recruiter is uh, going through your CV, then they want to get some information about you if you, your CV looks uh, interesting. And uh, LinkedIn profile is a wonderful uh, tool that can help you to stand out because here you can add all your certification, all of your experience and stuff and also all the, um, the recommendation that you got from your previous employer or from your colleagues. So that's really helpful. So whenever you're creating a CV, you must have to add your LinkedIn profile at the very top of your uh, CV. So after that, let's move to the next section. So then we have to give it a overview, like uh, what we are uh, 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 expert at, our skill sets, but it should be short and precise. At the very beginning, we have to add a title, a catchy title, and also it should be effective. What do what do I mean by that? Basically, I meant like the title should uh, uh, cover all of your expertise like in a brief way like if you see this one in here I mentioned like certified AWS Azure Google Cloud expert and cybersecurity specialist here I have uh, mentioned all of my specific criteria but uh, in a very short uh, and a short manner here I mentioned I know AWS I know Azure um, and I am also expert at uh, cybersecurity so that's the title it should be a eye catchy title for sure and then there should be a small uh, description about the title, like what you have accomplished so far in your career. So at the time I had seven years of work experience. I have uh, a work experience uh, related to cloud technology like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. And also I have cybersecurity expertise and uh, um, the, my motivation, what drives me to uh, 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 work in uh, the IT sector. So here it's a very important point to mention. So it should be uh, two to three sentence, but it should be very uh, precise and clear what you uh, are really uh, focusing on, what is your career goal kind of. Okay, so after this, the next section comes is also very critical that is a career profile. This is the place where you have to showcase your skill set, guys. Like, what is your accomplishment so far? So, uh, I have added uh, my experience and all the certifications. Now, the certification list has all uh, already uh, grown a lot, so I need to update my CV. Remember guys, whenever you are applying for a job, pretty much like you are uh, marketing for yourself in your CV. In your CV, all of your strong uh, skills should be present. 
I did the same here I added all the certification and I made it bold internationally because I really want to showcase all of my accomplishment and this certification should be aligned with the job description because the employer want to see the job description what the skill set that they ask for if this candidate has the, all the skill sets so uh, one important thing also to mention in here whenever an employer is looking into your CV he or she is looking for two specific things. One is the uh, skill set, the technical skills, and the second one is the uh, soft skill, like uh, all the communication uh, skills, the analytical skills. So both are equally important because uh, you need to be a team player. You need to know how to work in a team. And uh, the, the soft skill is uh, nowadays uh, highly, highly needed to be a good uh, employee. So focus on that one too. So th that's what I did. First, I mentioned all of my uh, skill set, my certificate, then I also mentioned some of my soft skills too. And that's the career profile. This should be a very precise uh, uh, overview. It shouldn't be that long, but all the major accomplishments should be covered under the career profile. And after that, uh, the next section for an IT guy CV uh, uh, is this technical skill. What does it uh, uh, mean? So in technical skills, we will mention all the tools that we know, all the uh, all the skills that we have acquired so far in our career. So uh, my CV is mostly uh, cloud computing and cybersecurity centering. So that's why I added all the tools that I have learned. I have added AWS, I have added Microsoft Azure, I have added some DevOps tools that I know, and also I have added all the frameworks, security frameworks that I am familiar with, like IS, or NIST, TIPA, COBIT, uh, CS, etc. So here, all your technical skills skills that you have uh, gathered so far in your career that you have learned the skills that you have uh, uh, mastered you should uh, mention this under this particular section and as technical skills this is very important so that's it so after career profile and technical skills that next section comes your professional experience this is really critical so under this professional experience, this is where the employer gonna uh, know that uh, how experienced you are and uh, in which company, how many years you have worked. And uh, whenever we are uh, uh, writing this uh, professional experience section, most of the time uh, people make uh, one mistake. That is, they just mention the company name, the title and the uh, duration that they worked on, but they don't mention the um, activities, the daily activities, the rules, what they did during this time frame. This is very important because this gives an idea like what you have done so far in your career. What sort of day-to-day uh, uh, -day activities you have uh, performed in your previous job. So this is very critical. And uh, try to give uh, a very uh, brief overview with few points like four or five points. And also uh, mention that all the skills that all the tasks that you have done that it also aligned with your uh, uh, job description for the job that you're applying for so then the employer or the recruiter will be impressed this guy already did this particular thing so this guy is uh, a perfect fit for this uh, particular role so you have to be a little bit smart whenever you are uh, updating your cv or writing your cv from scratch so a question can come to mind like, uh, okay, this is for a person who has all the experience and stuff. What about the person who doesn't have the experience, like a fresh graduate? Well, in that case, we shouldn't keep the professional experience uh, call, uh, the section empty. We can add some of our projects that we have done. We can mention the project, the project timeline, what is specific um sort of uh, activities we have performed uh, what are the accomplishment so it will it also shows that uh, you have uh, spent your time to learn even though you don't have the uh, experience from a particular company but you have uh, done different project you have contributed some uh, open platform you have uh, uh, created some projects and uh, this is the result that you have achieved which is really impressive if you mentioned it under the cv as a fresh graduate so I did that, I uh, added all my job experience in here. So start with your most recent one and then the earlier one in this way, there will be a flow. 
and after that the next section is education so whenever we are uh, adding education basically we should add our uh, uh, bachelors and if we do have masters then the masters one so uh, these two are good enough to mention what I see most of the time in the CVs uh, they focus a lot of, uh, um, on this education section okay, okay education the academic degrees are important is the one of the uh, the check uh, one of the boxes we need to tick uh, of, to get a job but it's not the primary one education uh, is uh, it, Academic education is important, but it's not like mandatory. In IT sector, if you have the skill sets, that's all matters uh, nowadays. So in education, make it try to uh, keep it short for me. If you see, I just added a few lines like my ma master's, my bachelor's and uh, the time frame. That's it. Uh, I didn't add any more extra line. So this is uh, uh, a short uh, overview of my CV. And besides that, if you also want to add this one more section, like uh, um, your uh, any sort of activities that you feel like, yes, I'm proud of. If you have some uh, sort of voluntary work experience, you can also mention that. Uh, so that's also uh, a good idea. But for me, as my CV has already a lot of points, that's why I really wanted to keep short and precise so that that uh, potential employer or the recruiter will uh, go through my CV easily and uh, all my important key points will be highlighted uh, way more than having a long, long CV. Congratulations guys for reaching this far of uh, today's video. Now I'm going to talk about some tips that will really help you to stand out whenever you are applying for a job with your CV. So tip number one, uh, your CV size should be uh, one or two pages. There is a reason behind it because uh, whenever there's a job post then there will be uh, like hundred thousands of applicants who are going to upload to their CVs and the recruiter will go through the CVs, like all the CVs. And uh, statistically, uh, your CV is gonna get at least like a few seconds. And within that, uh, they're gonna make a decision whether they will shortlist your CV or not. If your CV is a long CV, like uh, four or five pages, then uh, all your important key points won't get uh, the uh, attention. So for that reason, your CV should be small. Um, if you are an exper experienced person and if you have a lot of uh, experience uh, and skill set, then your CV two pages I think you can cover a lot. Two pages a lot, uh, a lot. And if you are fresh graduate, then uh, uh, within one or one and a half page you can cover it all. So there is no point to write uh, 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 four or five pages of CV and it also reduce your chances to uh, land a job because uh, uh, you are missing the time frame tip number two whenever you are applying for a job first the process should be like this that to, first you need to go through the job description okay once you learn the job description and the, the, then you need to highlight all the key points keywords that they are looking for the job roles and the skills and then uh, now it's time to modify your cv modify your cv and add those keywords um, that uh, will align your cv with the job description so most of the time what happens nowadays like the recruiter they're using software and whenever the software is scanning your cv if the keyword matches with the job description then your cv will be uh, short listed so that's one of the hack tip number three and the last tip is that your cv should be formal it should be very precise it, there should be every single section so the person who's gonna go through your cv won't get uh, uh, any hard time because uh, all the things are well written and revise your cv try to find if there is any mistake once you are done with the review then ask your uh, uh, friends uh, to do a review for you because uh, uh, maybe some of the mistakes you can't uh, find out one a uh, second pair of eye look into your CV then uh, they will point out some of the uh, problems and make it perfect because the competition is high thank you so much guys for uh, uh, spending your time to watch my video I hope you found something helpful into this video if you guys have any questions or any doubt related to the points that I mentioned today, please let me know in this comment section and I'm going to reply you in a very short period of time. Our community is growing more and more people are joining to our community and uh, I am really thankful for that. 
Um, I really know that the most important thing in the world is your time. And as you were uh, you, uh, spending your time to uh, watch my videos, that's why I try my best to provide values for my video. So if you want me to cover any specific topic, please let me know under this comment section and I'm going to cover that for you. Um, if you found this video helpful, please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. Well, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.